powered electric bicycle. I started with this 26 inch frame. It's nothing special, it's a Next Brand frame. It's from uh, Walmart. Not the best, but I chose it because it's got a square tube at the bottom there. And this allowed for an easy way to attach the motor to the frame. Um, I was able to sandwich it around the frame itself and there's no slipping or sliding as there would be for a circular frame. So what I did was I took this piece of angle iron, attached the motor to it, and then I sandwiched it in with these bolts and this metal plate there. And so that's the way it's attached to the bicycle. It's really strong. There's no sliding whatsoever. The motor itself is a 24 volt, 450 watt geared motor. Uh, it's a Unite brand motor, MY1018Z. And originally, on the, uh, the gearbox there, there's a fixed sprocket that came out. And so what I did was, I wanted to change it into a freelance sprocket. And so what I did was I took the original sprocket that came with the motor and I filed down, took off all the teeth except for one. One tooth I used to fit in the slot from this sprocket. Now this sprocket is actually from a Cyclone electric bicycle kit. That's where I got that from. And so it's got an inner diameter of 20 millimeters. And so that's actually what I had to file down the other sprocket for. And so I made a shaft adapter so it would fit on the motor. So there's 14 teeth on the motor there. And then I have a 56 tooth drive sprocket. And this was from a, one of those gas powered kits. Normally it has nine holes. Normally you put it on the back sprocket over there on the back wheel. But I decided to make it fit for the uh, pedals. So there's a freewheel in the cranks themselves, so therefore the motor can spin and uh, drive the bicycle and the pedals remain stationary. Now I do have 21 speeds on this bike, so I do have three spots in front, uh, front derailleur there, and I have a seven speed gear cluster in the back from 14 teeth all the way up to sprocket. So this bike can go anywhere from 6 miles an hour all the way up to 27 miles per hour. And I'm riding out here today at the Red Rock State Park and definitely have to use all 21 speeds here because there's all different kinds of road conditions. There's a 15 mile loop that goes through the park here that I'm taking. And here's just some of the terrain. I'm using all 21 speeds today. Now the batteries I'm using, I have uh, lithium polymer LiPo batteries. I've got two battery packs here. They're both uh, 8 amps. And both these batteries can get me about close to 19, 20 miles of range. That's with flat conditions, no wind, normal riding conditions. And I got a 24 volt, 500 watt controller. And up front here, GPS to keep track of the speed, and also have a, uh, a throttle in my two uh, gear shifts. So that's the basic bicycle. The uh, battery box, by the way, is a uh, it's actually a popcorn pan that's used for campfires. So I use that to hold the batteries. It's held in there by uh, Velcro. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is take this for a test drive so you can see uh, how everything works. I got about a flat piece of wood and so I'm going to go ahead and start going around here so you can see how it goes and start pedaling and let me I start pedaling like this to get it started and then once I get going then I'll let the motor uh, take over here. Okay so here we go. See what's happening down there is the uh, motor is turning the pedals and the 
uh, they turn in the chain and the pedals are remaining stationary. That's how the freewheel sprocket works. So I'm just gonna do normal cruising on this. I'm about 20 miles per hour right now. 20 miles per hour is a normal cruising speed. Got a little slight downhill grade to this here, so I'm going a little bit faster, but normal road conditions I can do about, average about 20 miles per hour. I have had it up to 28 miles per hour on motor power alone, but again, that has to have a slight downhill grade with some wind, but that's not typical. Normal typical riding conditions are usually around around this, 22, 20 miles per hour. Got a tour bus there. To a, a hill so the good thing about this is now I can apply the motor of course if I'm going downhill I can just coast I don't even need the motor but for this I switch it into the proper gear so now you can hear the motor going it's working to get up this hill the motor is really strong if you have it in the right gear it'll go up any kind of hill as long as you have it in the proper gear May not go very fast, but at least it does have power to go up the hill, which is what we're doing right now. Now, if I want to pedal along with the motor like this, I can. And so, if we're going uphill, it feels like I'm going downhill. It's hardly any effort at all to pedal this. So, I can do that just to help the motor out so it's not using up all the battery life. I can extend my range this way by pedaling along with the motor.